Oh my god, I'm literally gonna cry. Be patient, love the moment that you're in because you're creating a story. Hi guys, my name is Behja. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This week's girl talk is a little bit different. I am genuinely just sitting on my floor and I just really wanted to chat with you guys and talk to you guys. I recently made a video that sort of kind of blew up. I'm not going to say that it blew up, blew up, but it just kind of made me realize that the idea of making changes in your life and the idea of becoming the best possible version of yourself that you could possibly be is really overwhelming for so many people and it seems like a mountain of a task and it seems like a lot. I've gotten so many messages of people saying that um, they don't really know where to start or they don't know what to do and it just it just seems like a lot and it seems like a lot to handle i just wanted to come here and really just share with you guys a little bit of my journey and i even have my first ever journal with me just so i can give you guys an idea of what it actually was like starting and and like just just give you guys a little bit more insight on exactly what i did i just want to start off by saying that this journey is a long life journey i am still on this journey myself and it's better to be one percent better every single day than to try and make a million changes at once or try to progress so much in such a short amount of time it it takes precision and it takes consistency and it takes showing up for yourself every single day i just want you guys to know that it doesn't it's not something that happens overnight and it's not a fast process and a fast journey and so i thought i would just sit here and get really vulnerable with you guys and share with you guys my first ever steps into getting there if you guys haven't watched my video um it was my first video on my channel my journey to self-love and self-discovery and i highly recommend that if you haven't i kind of talk about my entire journey on there but now that it's a little over a year old i thought that i would kind of revisit that topic and really teach you guys the things that i've learned now because when i made that video it was months of progression but now it's been months of progression plus a whole year so i feel like i've learned a lot and i've come a long 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 way so i know it seems like a mountain of a task but it, it took a long time and it took me trying my hardest to be better every single day and it's it's one percent better every day is really my goal it takes a while it, re it really does so when i make these videos i want you guys to know that i've actually been on this journey myself for a really long time so it's not just me talking at you it's me talking at you from experience and the things that i've learned and it's been a long time so i don't want you guys to think that it was an overnight thing or if it took me like a few months it took me over two years to even be where i am right now i made this tiktok and i'm going to insert the video i need you guys to be for real for a second and really just listen to me i've literally turned into a broken record because of how many times i've said this but I need you guys to not just hear it and listen to it, but I need you guys to apply this if you guys want 2023 to be your best year yet. I had the worst 2020 and then 2021 was even worse, but 2021 was really when I started my journey to wanting a better life. I've really set myself up for success and took myself out of being miserable. And like, it just feels like the entire world is working in my favor. You need to envision a new life for yourself the best one that you could possibly imagine and you need to allow yourself to dream as big as you can even if those things do not feel obtainable in the moment as crazy as it sounds like the craziest things that you could possibly think of and i'm not going to sit here and say that the crazy things that i wrote back in 2021 had fully come to fruition yet but i literally see it coming to fruition right now in my life and i know that i've set myself up to reach those goals but it literally starts with reflecting and, and imagining this new life for yourself and write it down, like whatever it is, write it down and allow yourself to be as delusional and dream as big as you possibly can. Like, do not limit yourself. Do not hold yourself back. Those things that are holding you back from even writing it are your limiting beliefs. So pay attention to them, but don't let them get in the way of you writing those things down because anything that is real in this world is obtainable. It's realistic. It's real. So 
be delusional even if right now it sounds delusional because someday that's going to be your reality and it's not going to be delusion anymore i know a lot of people were saying that it sounds pathetic and it seem and it might be misleading to people but i just want to clarify that this journey that i took on and i'm on it it's really not possible without the help of God and and actually genuinely connecting with God and and like I even talked about this on my podcast but once I got to know myself I guess the only thing that I really got to know was how in need I am of God and like how I can't really do anything on my own without him I guess this entire journey um, has allowed me to not only connect with myself more but connect with god more and it's it's a very lonely process and the only person you really have to lean on is allah so i'm so grateful and i know where to give credit where credit is due 100 percent but it does take a lot of self-discipline and it takes a lot of self work and it, and it and it takes you pushing yourself and um creating habits and sticking to them and waking up every single day trying to better your mindset and strengthen your mindset so i am not gonna sit here and tell you guys that i manifested everything myself but i guess the idea of manifestation and the idea of being delusional and creating a life that you feel proud of is understanding that god is on your side and will give you absolutely anything that you ask him for and not limiting his power so it's not me um creating these things by myself and making things happen on my own it obviously is all from allah and i'm so grateful towards him and i cannot stress that enough so i just wanted to clear that up and get that out of the way nothing happens without the help of god and if you ever go on this journey you will realize how much you actually need him goodness gracious i nearly died i just want to read to you guys my first ever journal entry when i decided that i was fed up with the way that my life was and the way that i was living and the way that i felt i remember taking a sheet of paper and my cousin was living with us at the time and she was one of my closest friends um and so i gave her a piece of paper too and i was like we need to change something because this feels so shitty and so i gave her a piece of paper and i was like write down everything you ever wanted to be everything that you've always dreamt of being everything that you want how you want your life to look and who you want to be and so we literally sat down in my basement and wrote everything down and i then got a journal and i kind of transferred that in here and here is the first paragraph that i ever wrote may 4th 2021 and at the top i wrote who is she question mark and then i said i often say may i become the woman i've always dreamt of being but who is she who is that woman i want to be what does she do how does she look dress what does she eat is she a morning person if i want to be her i must practice step by step until i'm her so i'm going to write out the woman i want to become and then under that i wrote ladies and gentlemen her because i was like a big sound on tiktok and then i wrote badger is and then i wrote down every single thing that i wanted to be and i honestly haven't seen this in a really long time um i wrote down attributes i wrote down all that i am um my talents i wrote down my career i wrote down what type of person i am my connection with god my connection with the people around me the type of people i have around me um where does she live and i kind of wrote it in a like it's almost like a from third person so like i'm writing about myself and the type of person i am like almost like someone else is saying this about me and then what i did was on the second page i wrote becoming her this may and so I wrote down everything. I wrote down what I need to do this May to become her. So I wrote down clean my room, fix my sleep schedule, watch what I put in my body, walk every single day for 20 minutes. Like it's like these little little tasks that I wrote down for myself and it's nothing too crazy like even just strengthening my vocabulary, um step outside of my comfort zone a little, practice this one is funny i said practice walking in heels and now i walk in heels all the time it's actually kind of crazy i forgot i wrote that it's so cute oh my god get your nails done listen to podcasts read books pray all five 
on time and chat with God. And at this point, I wasn't really praying all five of my prayers forget on time but just period so um that was genuinely one of my goals and then always ask for forgiveness clean out my car so those are everything that i wrote down for this may even though my goals on the page before were so huge like these some of these things i haven't even reached yet but i can definitely see myself getting there because i'm setting myself up every single day and if i didn't do these little things i definitely wouldn't be where I am today if that makes sense and I didn't none of these things are huge like I didn't say lose 80 pounds quit my job start a new job read 10 books like I, it was just read a book always ask for forgiveness clean out my car I didn't even know that this is what I did now looking back I'm like that is so cute that I wrote these things down and then I wrote down let go of fear and people's opinions it's gonna hold you back if it flops keep going show people you know what you want that is kind of where i started and that is what i did for many many months after that it's crazy now that i'm looking back at my first journal that i was like really writing because i've always journaled my entire life like i have a ton of diaries a ton of journals um but like this is the first one where i decided i'm gonna make changes in my life and it's low-key like insane to kind of look back at now and so for the next month i wrote becoming her this june work out every day watch what i put in my body pray all prayers continue um creating content which is something that i wanted to do and i did like for a really long time and that's kind of how i grew a following on tiktok is by making daily vlogs to hold myself accountable that's like another way where i got to be creative and do something that i'm very passionate about but also work towards being better work towards being one percent better every day work towards building a life that i would feel proud of yeah so that's something else i did is i vlogged <laughs> almost every single day i'm waking up going to the gym um eating healthy and then i would do like what i eat in a day is on tiktok and post all the healthy meals that i would eat like that's really how i held myself accountable and that's really how i stayed consistent and i kind of used creativity to do so and i was like excited to wake up every single day and make a tiktok vlog of me doing all these things and i it was it was now that i look back at it i'm happy that i did that i'm so glad that i did that um you don't necessarily have to make content but find a way where you enjoy what you're doing and don't be too hard on yourself like it takes time i guess switching your mindset to it's going to take me some time none of this is going to happen overnight will allow you to enjoy the process and enjoy where you are right now and enjoy the person you are right now because one day you're going to look back at that person and you're going to be so grateful for her like just know that now when i like look back at i don't know 19 year old badja who worked out every single day and ate healthy consistently i'm so grateful for her even though she didn't feel like she was the best person in the world i'm genuinely so grateful for her because she showed up every single day for me in order for me to be where i am today and to be comfortable in my own body and to be comfortable in the clothing that i wear like i am grateful for that gal because she really set me up to being the person that i am today so like be grateful for the person you are right now be happy and grateful for the moment that you're in right now the phase in your life that i really love using that word the era or the phase in your life that you're in right now because it's a big deal and if it's if it doesn't seem like a big deal right now it's going to be a big deal to you someday in the future and like the way that i think of it is every single day i'm like be grateful for today be happy about the the phase in your life that you're in or the part of your journey that you're in because you're creating a story like i i i think i tweeted that before too but i'm creating a story and i'm creating a story that I'm gonna tell in a story that like how I'm telling you guys right now all those all those times I, I was telling myself like I'm creating a story and now I get to share that with you guys and I get to share that with a ton of people who also want to make a change in their life and make a difference and become better so it's 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 like be patient be kind to yourself love the moment that you're in because you're creating a story literally one of my things under becoming her this June and this was June 2021 is have fun spend time with family, start building my brand, always ask for forgiveness, 
and build your network <laughs> upgrade my bedroom take care of my skin like none of that is these big big tasks like i literally took it so easy and i was gentle with myself and i took it day by day because i guess as someone who has done something like losing like a crazy amount of weight it's like i know that things take time it's not something that you can necessarily rush so i just took it day by day and i took it month by month wait i'm actually reading this and it makes me so happy wow so i would always write exciting desires so things that i'm excited to have and the first would always be jenna and then it would be health and then it would be unconditional love happiness my dream home um my dream business like all these things are things that are so simple and it's actually kind of crazy there's a section in my journal where I would come and write in any time I felt frustrated and any time I was too in my head. I had a really hard time with overthinking for a really, really long time. Like it was months on end where I had a really hard time with overthinking and, and, and all that. And I think when you are on this journey of self-discovery, there's a lot that you really will discover about yourself. And the more time you spend alone, the more time you spend journaling, the more time you spend um, trying to be better and figuring out ways that you can do that. And if you ask yourself where you can be better, you will literally give your own self an answer. It just takes actually listening to yourself and being silent just for a little bit. But I had a section in my journal where I would come and write whatever I was thinking any time that I was overthinking and basically I would just write a little letter to myself like I would talk to myself you are exactly where you're meant to be don't you dare feel like you failed because you didn't reach your goal Allah is the best of all planners and he planned for you to be here where you are today keep setting goals and working towards them it'll all be worth it at the end I promise love Bahja and then here's another one hey i know you've been feeling a little discouraged but keep going you've been working so hard and it will all pay off i promise bad job <laughs> let me not read that one <laughs> okay okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one to myself uh, you guys i dead ass like didn't know that these are the things that i was writing down but it it really just starts with that and i broke it down every single month to little tasks that i can do little little things um and I would work on the things that I wanted to learn. I would work on the like the career that I wanted to have. I would work on that and like it didn't take like I wasn't doing these huge leaps. Like I was taking it day by day and doing thing by thing and coming back to my journal and writing when I felt overwhelmed and it was a long process and it was a long journey but it, def it, it definitely doesn't have to be hard it doesn't have to be a mountain of a task you can't jump to the very end so it's like take it day by day take it little by little uh, month by month like i did and by being kind to myself and loving myself through writing letters to myself or writing down things when i felt overwhelmed to make myself feel better I mean, to really take that negative mindset that i'm in and turn it into a positive one has really helped me get to where i am and really just build a relationship with myself and build love around this journey and then here's another one everything seems stagnant right now but keep working hard it's all going to be worth it you already know what's coming prepare for that align yourself with the things that you pray for i would really just come here when i'm feeling negative and take that negative thing and turn it into a positive so once i left my journal and i closed my journal i was i was pulling myself out of that negative mindset and that that positive mindset and that positive energy allowed me to keep going and to not give up and has allowed me to just create positive positive and it's allowed me to create a positive environment around me that then attracts positivity towards me this journal just shows how much gratitude that i had for every single step of the way in every single part of my journey and every single hurdle that came my way every single hard obstacle that came my way like there was a time where i was dealing with self-sabotage and i wrote down hey stop self-sabotaging out of fear you are capable of amazing things and you know that my love i'm so proud of you and i know it gets hard sometimes but you got to keep pushing forward for yourself you deserve it all you will get everything you pray for it's okay to cry it's okay to have bad days but don't let them get in the way of appreciating life and being happy with how far you've come why am i gonna cry 
Oh my god, I'm literally gonna cry. You guys. This is so like personal and I'm sharing it with you guys, but I want you guys to know that it's possible and you guys can do it too and that I just want to show you guys the real stuff, like what it actually takes to get to a point where you actually are so in love with the journey, you're so in love with yourself, you're so in love with life, and you're so like happy and content with where you're going and you believe in yourself and it, it takes a lot of inner work and it takes a lot of shadow work and I think um, I did that in a very beautiful way and I'm happy that I have it all written down. I have like six different <laughs> journals since I started it um, and so yeah I just I'm sharing something really personal with you guys because I want you guys to know that this is really what it takes and it could it could happen for you because I know it's happened for me and I know where I was versus where I am now and the, and how big of a difference it is and so yeah do better for yourself and do better for your family but enjoy the process don't focus so much on what's next that you miss everything happening in front of you right now everything you wished you had a few years ago everything you've dreamt of as a child is in front of you notice and appreciate that trust divine timing allah has the best of planners and he loves you more than you love yourself keep your head up angel i love you betcha yes why am i so nice to myself what i think once you start there's like something arises every single day like you'll learn something new about yourself every single day and there's going to be new things that come up that you didn't even notice about yourself or you didn't even know was like not a problem but needed attention and it could be a lot to handle sometimes um but the journey itself is not that difficult it's not hard so i don't want you guys to think that it, it has to be difficult and it has to be hard and you have to grind look at how nice i was to myself and look at how little of tasks i would give myself in order to um improve every single day and i would give myself little 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 things to celebrate like if I was able to let go of a friend, I would celebrate that. Like a friend that wasn't really necessarily good for me, I would celebrate that. If I was able to get over a fear or like I always, always, always celebrated myself and I celebrated the journey and I celebrated every little accomplishment that I had. Wow, I didn't realize that this is, I didn't realize this is how nice I was to myself, but this is really what it took to switch my mindset let me give you guys another example of how i would switch from this negative energy and you guys this negative energy used to eat me alive like i think once i started noticing my thoughts and the way that i kept thinking of myself and the way that i like I, I i made it a habit to to notice all the thoughts that go through my mind and when it's negative and when it's positive because those thoughts here's kind of how it goes whatever actions that you take comes from how you're feeling because of those thoughts it all really just starts with your thoughts and so i made it a habit to pay attention to it and ever since i started doing that i was like dang when you find yourself being negative and you're complaining about things and maybe you're not in an environment that you fully love or you feel like you could be the best version of yourself in just look around and be grateful for the things that you have and take that negativity and turn it into something positive think of all the things that you've already done think about even just like the i the 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 decision of i'm going to become a better version of myself with something to celebrate being one percent better every single day is something to celebrate like if i'm one percent better today that makes me happy because a year from now i'm what 360 percent better wild insane great to think of so yeah this is so personal to me and i really just wanted to share this with you guys so that you guys know that it's a journey that takes a lot not necessarily a lot of work but it just takes time and it takes consistency and it takes precision and it takes showing up for yourself every single day showing up for yourself can even be like if you don't fully take care of yourself that day and do all the things that you said you would do i feel like taking care of yourself is telling yourself well i didn't do that today but that doesn't mean i have to give up like you still have tomorrow take the day off rest and just like being nice to yourself being kind to yourself and taking it easy rather than allowing yourself to dwell in that negativity and that negative negativity um or dwell in that negative energy because staying in that negative bubble will only 
um, keep you from actually being appreciative, from being grateful, and from continuing to take action um, in order to reach a place where you feel happy and you feel content and not necessarily happiness because you're not always going to be necessarily happy but knowing that you're taking care of yourself and you're on the road of being better and you're working towards something I guess is something to be proud of on its own but yeah so when it comes to these journeys and it comes to becoming the best version of yourself I don't want you guys to think that there's so much that you have to really do because it could be the easiest process ever if you allow it to be and of course everybody has difficult times and that is just literally how life works like genuinely that's how life works you can't get around it you can't escape it you can't hide from it but those things make you stronger if you allow them to make you stronger if you allow yourself to really just enjoy those moments and enjoy those times and think what can i learn from this how can i better myself just self-reflection and loving yourself and being kind to yourself is the best way to go and if you really think about it every single person is trying their best whether you don't feel great in where you are right now or not know that you are trying your best and you're doing the best you're and you're doing the best you can so don't be the person who beats yourself up all the time and be your biggest supporter and be your biggest fan and all this because when you start this journey you need a friend you need someone and you really have to be that friend for yourself you have to be that supporter for yourself okay guys that is all that i have for you guys today thank you so much for being here i love and appreciate every single one of you guys if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful even in the slightest way please leave a comment down down below like this video and feel free to dm me i literally open every single dm that i ever get so um yeah shoot me a dm and i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i love you so much and i'll see you guys next time